and went vegan overnight. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Vince Leo from VinceLeo.com, and I'm hanging out with Norma again. Hola. But this time, we're not in the kitchen. Now, if you missed any of our recipe videos, I'll go ahead and link those below. We did a whole series of Salvadorian vegan recipes, which were pretty amazing. Yes, they were. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> but now, Norma, we were actually talking mm -hmm. um, about some of the stuff you struggle with uh, before you went vegan, after you went vegan, mm -hmm. some of your ups and downs. And I think it's a lot of issues that a lot of people struggle with. Yeah. And I think it's important to share your story and what you're going through and some of the stuff you're doing to correct it moving forward. Yes. And I think it's really powerful. So I wanted to share that with you. So Norma, can you kind of give us a background of what you did before you went vegan and why you decided to go vegan in the first place? Yeah, sure. Well, um, pretty much for 20 years, I was a professional choreographer and dance instructor and um, did that all my life. And then in 2015, I was diagnosed with osteoarthritis on my lower back. And that pretty much ended my career completely and um it was you know it was pretty hard to take because you know it was something that I had been doing for so long and I was so passionate and I was making a difference in people and and whatnot and to not have that and be completely immobile you know pretty much like taken away from you yeah so yeah. I mean definitely was it was a hard thing so one of the things that my doctor had told me is she was wanting to put me in some pills mm -hmm. and I was like no, no. Because, <laughs> you know, that's like the first thing they do, right? Like they, they yeah. want to give you like pills, you know, and uh, no. So I told her I want something a lot more natural. And lo and behold, she tells me, oh, well, okay, fine. So you can consume turmeric, ginger, blueberries, all anti-inflammatory foods. And I was like, <laughs> wait a food? second, food? <laughs> food can actually help me. So I was like, okay, wait a minute. There's something to this. So that's when I decided to watch or may, you know, do a lot of research. Yeah. But then I started watching some documentaries. Yeah. Lo and behold, the one that did it was Earthlings. Uh, the first five minutes of that documentary, I was bawling my eyes out. Yeah. Like it was, it was pretty graphic. I mean, it was just, you know, I couldn't unsee what I saw. Yeah. So at the end of the whole, you know, once the film ended, you know, I tried to compose myself and then I quickly went to the kitchen, got a trash bag, went into my refrigerator and threw everything that was animal byproducts. Wow. Like everything. Then I got another bag, went to my closet and threw away everything that was leather and wool and silk, just everything away, got those two bags, went outside, threw it away and went vegan overnight. <laughs> literally overnight and I didn't look back and I think what was easier and I will say this because we are here in LA mm -hmm. it is a lot more vegan friendly yeah you know so I think that made it easier for me in my transition yeah there's there's a lot of vegan restaurants but what I'm finding is even some places like Walmart you mm -hmm. know which you don't think of having vegan options exactly. now, granted some of the the Walmart locations because I've done videos of Walmart and Target and we get a lot of responses People saying, you know, my Walmart doesn't have all these different options because mm. depending on where you are, but even Amazon, I mean, mm -hmm. you could order online. So availability of vegan products, even if you don't have as many restaurants mm -hmm. like we do in LA, um, you definitely have availability to not only vegan products, but vegan products that taste really good. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, compared to like what, 10, 15 years ago, yeah. I think, you know, for myself, it was just an, a more easier transition because I live here and then also there's so many different options and then the products have gotten better i mean even the cheeses or as you saw if you saw the pupusa one that cheese melted <laughs> like the real thing you know what i mean so but yeah so pretty much you know that's what completely made me go you know vegan was first the health aspect and i will say this i was very active very yeah. active um, and so I had, active before you were diagnosed? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was active before I was diagnosed, and Norma likes to eat. <laughs> but since I was very active, I was burning a lot of yeah. you know, calories. Yeah, because you were dancing. Yeah, because I was dancing. I mean, I was hiking. I was doing all this stuff. So then once I became vegan, I can say maybe like the first four months, I lost about 50 pounds. So you gained, would you say like after you were diagnosed, you gained those 50 pounds? 
because you weren't as active anymore? No, no. Actually, I will say that once I got diagnosed, I got diagnosed like in like in April. And then in May is when I became vegan because I was just doing a lot of research. Oh, okay. I was doing a lot so, of research. Okay, so yeah. then you went vegan. And then I lost... 50 pounds in four months. What was your diet like during those four months? It was literally whole food plant-based. Because, okay. you know, it w- this was a new, whole new lifestyle. So I thought, like, well, plants? Okay. Um, uh, broccoli? <laughs> uh, celery? You know, but then, I, you know, I started kind of experimenting in the kitchen. And I started having a lot of fun. And yeah. I think that also took me out of my depression that I was in. Because I was like, I didn't have my career yeah. anymore. You know, so like all that energy that I had had before came back again now that I was in the kitchen and I started to love that. And so, yeah, I mean, I was, I was bedridden, but I lost 50 pounds in four months. That's amazing. But But. Norma (laughs) likes to eat and I have a huge sugar tooth, like a sweet tooth. Yeah, sugar tooth, whatever. (laughs) Sweet tooth. So when I found out. That Oreo cookies were accidentally vegan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ate the whole bag. <laughs> so then I discovered there was like vegan pizza and vegan, you know, mac and cheese and hamburgers <laughs> and just pretty much everything that I used to eat before. Mm-hmm. You know, I can have it in the vegan version. What? Yeah. And so sure enough. How long would you say like? Course Maybe course of time that I gained all that weight back, probably like about four or five months. Yeah. You know, I started so it was to really like, and then the same up period of time back yeah. up. And, and I think what we have to realize too is it's not necessarily bad to go out and have a vegan pizza. Yeah, no, of course, yeah. But as long as you're balancing it out with some of the other stuff you're eating. Yeah. But and then the fact is that I couldn't exercise. Yeah. That's a thing. Because that's, a, least, that's a double whammy. You know, I mean, at least before, you know, I was able to, to exercise. Just and go out walking off. and riding a bike yeah. and stuff like that. Really but, helps. you know, but the fact that because of my back situation, I mean, I literally, it was painful. I mean, even to wash dishes, it was painful. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think with that, it just was, was a little bit hard for me, you know, because I was eating again the same stuff that I like to eat. And mm-hmm. so, but then I couldn't really exercise. I mean, I think... You know, when I went whole food plant based, you know, I was feeling better. I was feeling clearer, and I still did. You know, even if I ate the junk food, but I think yeah, it wasn't it, as often. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it wasn't as often. So I, I think now, because I have this business in culinary, and I you know doing Salvadorian vegan food, I've had a couple of like online orders and events where I'm cooking and I'm on my feet. For long hours, yeah. and my back is in such big, huge amount of pain, but also I know that it's because of my weight. And unfortunately, if I lose weight, arthritis is going to still the, the be pain. There. It's just the the level of yeah. intensity that yeah. pain is going to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, by losing weight, it's not going to cure arthritis. I mean, unfortunately, I have it forever. And the fact that I'm, you know, I'm not that, you know, I'm. I'm I'm young, you know, and it's like, yeah. I have this. I don't want to lose now this new career in culinary like I did my old one. So I kind of want to go back again to eating how I first did. Yeah. And even if I have once in a while, you yeah. know, that I have. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. You know, as long as I like, you know, what I, what I would do before is, you know, I drink a lot of water, green tea, and then, you know, obviously doing like, I mean, I can still do weights, you know what I mean? Like if I just have dumbbells at home and just at yeah. least do that, you know? So I've been doing it now for like two weeks now. So it's yeah. it's been good, you know? You always lose it in the face first. You know? <laughs> Not the body, but hopefully in a couple months. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping that it's going to get better too because... You know, now that I'm really doing this business and I'm really going out there and I'm really cooking a lot more, I don't I don't want to lose this career. Yeah. Like, I found now a new passion, and I feel like I was probably meant to do this all along. Yeah, like, it's almost like that other passion being taken away mm-hmm. led you to find this passion. Yeah. yeah. Usually when one door closes, another one opens. Yeah. There's, oh, gosh. Like, I, that's something I completely believe. Like, you know, sometimes situations happen where it just closes and you're like wait what just happened what (laughs) but then it's like 
oh, wait a minute. But this just opened up for me. You know what? It's okay. I'm glad that that ended. Not that I'm glad that that ended because that was a huge passion for me. Yeah. But. It was a process that you had to yeah. go through that to get to this. Yeah. You know, and I, I do the same thing when talking about my colitis where mm-hmm. I tell people like colitis was the best thing that ever happened to me. And people look at me and scratch your head like, what do you mean? Mm-hmm. And I go, if I wasn't diagnosed with colitis, I wouldn't have studied nutrition and health mm-hmm. and learning about a plant-based diet yeah. as much as I would have if I wasn't diagnosed. Yeah. So that really led to me starting everything else that I've done in the past few years. Yeah. So I look at it as a blessing that yeah. I was diagnosed in the first place. Yeah. But I, have, I do have a question, though, because mm-hmm. we were joking a lot during the recipe, especially the empanadas. <laughs> yeah. I was like, can you bake the empanadas? You're like, we're not baking yeah, the empanadas. we're not doing that. <laughs> But do you think any of your dishes or your recipes, maybe not for the events, but what you're, are you going to try to find like maybe a healthier way to cook? Them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I, I think when I first initially started this with, with my business, I wanted to make it as authentic Salvadorian yeah. to where I can fool, you know, <laughs> you know, especially my people, you know, in my community that are not vegan, that I can fool them, you know, <laughs> because not that I want to convert people, but I think I want to implant a seed. But now kind of going through this journey where this has become more than just a food business, it's become where I want to bring awareness to so many different things. And with that health aspect, because of the fact that I'm going through that right now myself, it's like, okay, Norma, you definitely need to maybe modify a couple of things here and there. Mm -hmm. Um, Some things, you know, I might end up still leaving it, but I'll put a disclaimer. (laughs) This contains soy, this contains uh, gluten, oil, butter, or vegan butter. But, you know, um, but yeah, no, I definitely will be modifying uh, a couple of things because I think, and then plus, honestly, Latin food, some people forget that there is a lot of vegan stuff. Yeah. Like the curtido. Yeah, it's all, it's all veggies. It's all veggies. There's nothing else in there but veggies. Yeah. And even the empanadas were vegan. Yeah. I mean, normally. Yeah. Well, normally it's done with um, leche poliada, which is basically a True. vanilla and we did custard the beans. sweet, and but we did the beans. Yeah. yeah. But, but um, the beans you can find in restaurants too, right? Yeah. They serve yeah. with the beans too. So. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you can... I, I, I am going to mod- modify, definitely for sure. Awesome. You know, so like that, you know... If people, because I know people are gonna are a lot more health conscious now with just everything that's come out in light of like, oh what oh they add this to the meat, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's like I I tell people all the time because people ask me they struggle with they go I went vegan and I've gained weight mm-hmm. and or I've gone vegan and I haven't lost weight and I, I don't know what to do because I I've, I've mentioned this a million times just because it's vegan doesn't mean it's healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and there's different reasons why somebody goes vegan. Yeah. There's no wrong reason why. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. whether you did it for health, the environment, or the animal animals. rights, mm-hmm. there's there's no wrong way to go. Mm-hmm. But understanding what you're eating and trying to live the healthiest life possible mm-hmm. is something that I think anybody wants to do, whether you're vegan or not. Yeah, You know, yeah. that just applies to a lot of society in general. Yeah, yeah. And so understanding what to eat and what not to eat even when you're vegan mm-hmm. I, I think it's important yeah you know and i think it's really cool to see you go on this journey mm-hmm. and start going back to more whole foods and plant-based mm-hmm. and it'd be cool if you wanted to come back in a few months and give us an update oh yeah because <laughs> no one's gonna be looking all flat <laughs> no but also too i think for me just you know emotionally mentally physically you know i want to be able to really be able to last not just in this career but you know i mean there is a history of diabetes in my family yeah. you know so that's i mean i was pre-diabetic uh, i don't know how many years ago but you know i, I kind of want to be able to last you know yeah, it's important. and you know the only way that i'm going to be able to change just my whole perspective on life in general is that i need to start with me you know yeah. and that i can if i want to change the world i need to change myself first exactly you know so that's awesome Yes. Well, thanks for joining me and, yeah. and sharing your story with me. I hope that resonates with you. Uh, I know it's something that a lot of people struggle with. So I thought sharing Norma's story of, of what she's gone through before and after mm-hmm. and seeing how she's making changes moving forward is really inspirational. Mm, thank you. So thank you. thanks for coming by. Thanks for sharing all these awesome recipes. Yes. I'm, I was, it was so much fun. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I, uh, I loved it, and, and I'm glad that you enjoyed it. And you know, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it too, you know, and you tried it with your friends and your family, you know, and 
Yeah. Cool. Well, all those recipes, like I said, are linked below. And leave a comment. Let me know if you've struggled with weight loss, maybe before going vegan, after going vegan, or if you're still struggling. And maybe that's something that we could help you out with in the comments and everybody can go ahead and chime in and look at other comments and see how we can help support each other. Cause I know it's, it's something out there that a lot of people struggle with. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as I post new videos every week and join the Fit From Food notification squad by ringing that bell next to the subscribe button. And remember to keep living Fit From Food. And I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Adios.